Hello guys, Jose Rodriguez here. In our previous videos, we were able to add two different agents, Windows 11 and Windows 10, and we used two different ways to install and enroll the agent um, to our manager server, okay? So now in this video, I'll show you how can you add a Linux agent using the web interface, okay? So the difference here is basically the operating system, okay? So, um, based on our previous experience, now we know that since we are using a firewall or since the firewall is enabled on our uh, manager server, we need to add a rule for um, to allow the communication from the Linux device, okay? So, this is the Linux device that I'm planning on adding to my manager server. So let's check first the version or the the, the, the architecture for this uh, virtual machine. It'll be lsb underscore release dash a. So it's an Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, okay. And and the type of of, of, of processor for this is a 64-bit uh, processor, okay. And we also need the IP address to create the firewall rule. So the far, the IP address for this server is 192.168.0.167. Okay, so let's go to our server again. I'm using the unsecured firewall um, utility, and these are the rules. I just need to add one UFW uh, allow from 192.168.0.167. 167 okay now for the purpose of this video i'm just allowing the communication to any port from this ip but you can be more specific you can go through the whatsapp documentation and identify what is the specific port you know that you need to allow um so let's hit enter now we do ufw status again just to validate that the rule was created correctly so here it is now we can go to our manager server and so remember that we are here in the menu server management endpoint summary so you get to the same window and then we are going to use this option deploy a new agent okay so we are going to use a linux one on the <coughs> Since my device is a 64 bits operating system, we're gonna use Debian for Ubuntu, AMD 64. You can select the one that is um, the appropriate one for your virtual machine, okay? And here's the IP, it is the IP of the server. And then the agent name, what I'm gonna do is call this Ubuntu. You can use whatever name you want. Ubuntu server 2404 okay and the group remember in uh, one of our previous videos we created different groups so what I'm going to use is this one Ubuntu Linux okay and here's the command that we can run okay in our Ubuntu machine okay so let's copy this we go to our Ubuntu instance. Let's clear the screen. Let's paste the command. Okay. And let's hit enter. Password for Ubuntu. So it's installing the agent, creating all the required files. And setting everything up. Now, after that, the execution of that command is uh, completed. We need to reload the daemon, um, enable the agent, the WASA agent service 
or daemon and we need to start the service okay mm -hmm. so let's see there should be uh, a was an agent so if we do system ctl status okay was a dash agent mm -hmm. so the service was created correctly and as you can see is uh, disabled so we need to enable this okay and it's inactive so we need to reload the services and then enable it and then start it okay so what we can do is we can just copy this and then just hit enter okay so let's check the status again now it's active i mean it's enabled so whenever we restart our computer the service will be uh, active and running and it's currently running okay awesome so now if we go to our server and we go to endpoints again we refresh we have our ubuntu um, agent here okay nice so now we have so now our manager server has is collecting information from three different devices windows 11 windows 10 and an ubuntu server machine okay in our next videos i'll show you how can you start using or analyzing the information from these three different um, agents okay thank you